What's he, the British soul, my cousin Westland? No, my fair cousin. If we are marked to die, we are renowned to our country loss. And if to live, the fewer men, the greater share of honor. God's will, I pray thee, wish not one man more. By Jove, I am not covetous for gold. Nor care I that feed upon my cost. It yearns me not if men my garments wear. Such outward things dwell not in my desires. But if it be a sin to covet honor, I am the most offending soul alive. No faith, my cause. Wish not a man from England. God's peace, I would not lose so great an honor. For the best hope I have. Oh, do not wish one more. Rather proclaim it, my and through my host, that he who hath no stomach in this fight, let him depart. His passport shall be made, and crowns for convoy put into his purse. We would not die in that man's company who fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Christian. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand to tiptoe when the day is named and rouse him at the name of Christian. He that lives this day and sees old age will yearn on the vigil feast his neighbors and say, tomorrow is Saint Christian. Then will he strip his sleeve, show his scars and say, these wounds I had on Christian's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Then shall our names, familiar in his mouth, his household words, Harry, King, Bedford, and Exeter, Warwick, and Talbot, Salisbury, and Gloucester be in their flowing cups, freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin, Crispin shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world. Shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Be he ne'er so vile, this day shall gentle as condition. And gentlemen in England now abed shall think themselves a curse they were not here and hold their manhoods cheap whilst any speaks that fought with us upon sin.